has a mind of its own now. <laughs> nice try, sis. You have to be quicker than that. Royal Ryan, stop talking back and stay still. Where is the rest of you? You get in here at once. <laughs> Jimmy? Roy? Good girl. Right, outside. <laughs> You're only having a giggle. I can understand Roy doing it, but you... Sorry, Maura. Sorry, Mrs. Barker. Mm. Are you going to say sorry to Roy? <laughs> Roy! <laughs> huh? Say that again, Becky? I didn't quite hear what you said. Okay, look, let's just forget about it. As long as it doesn't happen again. Shall we get back to work, boys? And why don't you leave them to it, Barbara? You come in and have a bit of lunch with me and Becky. Thanks, Maura. I'd be delighted. What were they so mad about? It's not like we broke a window. We were only kidding around. They were very cross, weren't they? Anyway, come on, we better get back to work. Quick, Mr. Jones, stop! <laughs> Do you know what would be hilarious? Not a chance, Roy. Oh, come on, Mr. Jones, we have to do it. We have to play a prank on Tristan. But your mum said... I know, but I can peel my mouth off my face and throw it like a baseball. <laughs> Gags this good don't come along too often. And Tristan does like a good laugh. And this joke will have us rolling around in stitches for days. <laughs> Imagine if we don't do it. When Tristan finds out, he'll probably be mad at us for leaving him out. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Ready, Roy? Give him the fright of his life. <laughs> Are you yelling? Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, Becky's doing a school project called My Hero. Me and Finn. Uh, Finn and I. Finn and I can't wait to find out who her hero is. She's been working on it upstairs for a gazillion years. Yeah, Becky's been in her room for half an hour. I'll bring her up a nice cup of milk. Oh, that's really nice of you, Roy. But she wants some privacy now, remember? I know. So don't go into the bedroom, OK? I won't. private sign on the door. I can't read big words yet and private is a ginormous word. Well this is my school project and I want it to be a surprise. If you tell me I won't tell anyone. Goodbye Roy. This is my room too you know. Go over to your side then and play with your cars. Roy, what did I say? Sorry Mum. He'd love to know who Becky's hero is. So would I. <laughs> uh, me too. Of course now I was the one who taught her how to swim, wasn't I Bill? Yes, Maura. Mm. Up and down that pool we went every Saturday morning. That was me, wasn't it, Bill? Yes, Maura. Mm. And did you ever once hear me complain? Huh. Oh, no. And I thought I had to make rock buns. They certainly tasted like rocks. How's that? Nothing. <coughs> For a cartwheel fan of me. I don't like to boast, but she gets her skills from me. I mean, a bit of a whiz back in my day. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. 
I want you to promise not to look in my scrapbook. I promise. Yeah, people say that uh, Becky's a real daddy's girl. <coughs> Do they indeed? Oh, yeah. Mm. Sure, I taught her how to ride a bike. I taught her to pitch a tent. No, that was me. You taught her how to pitch half a tent and then you got stuck in it. Yeah. Well, you know what, I'm not one to boast, but uh, Becky did say that I'm the best at helping her with her English homework. Well, she told me I was the best at helping her with her maths homework. Yeah. Well, I taught her how to burp, even when she doesn't need to. <sighs> You must be so proud. Yeah. Not. Who is Becky's hero, Finn? Hmm, I haven't a clue either. Hi, Roy. I need to pick a hero for my school project. Me! Pick me! Look at me! Roy to the rescue! Right? Yeah. Our school project isn't about superheroes, Roy. It's about a real hero. Someone who doesn't fly? Exactly. A person in real life who we look up to and admire. Hey everybody, won't you come on in? I'm little Roy and this is Finn. We live together and we share our